the channel south of Grand Bahama. A lot of tuna are caught there. A little different style than some of this stuff up to the north where they troll. We can troll here, we may do a little bit of it, but a lot of this is chunking. So we run the radar, find the packs of birds. A lot of times you get on these schools of fish and these big canyons out here and they don't do a lot of moving. So you get on them, start chunking baits and try to get them on dead baits. So that's the plan today for yellowfin. We got some big ones in here. The only problem is the sharks. A lot of, a lot of predator sharks here. So they can be a big issue getting your bait, getting your fish up. So we'll see. It's early. We left about 540. Probably another 40 minutes till the sun comes up. We got about a 35 mile run. Doing it in the dark, running the flare. Trying to be a safe spot to run the radar. Jimmy's back there rigging stuff up. Dave's helping me watch. He's watching the flare. I'm watching the radar. We're kind of watching all of it. We'll get there just in time, right when the sun's coming up. All this area is is a deep water trench between two islands. You gotta imagine it's 20 feet deep on the Bahama Bank and then it just drops off to several thousand feet of water. And there's some pinnacles in there where it comes up and the tuna love to get on that area. You know, you gotta think there's currents down there that are, are washing through. And when you have high spots, all that does is create eddies underneath the water that congregate bait. And these tuna love these areas. This is very challenging. You know, half of it's getting here. You gotta get the right weather window, you gotta the right conditions, you gotta find the right pack of birds. Those rods are ready to chunk on that other side. I got bit. Watch out, watch out, watch out. What? Little, Little guy. Fin. There's your black fin. Got a tuna! Black fin! Caught a tuna! Now what we're gonna do with him. Probably running right at the boat because there's a shark on his ass. Get a head? You're gonna get a head. Hang on, hang on, let me get him to gas. Yeah! Yeah, we got one! <laughs> Woo! That's what we came for at least. That's a yellow, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, that's what we came for, boys. Wow. Good job. Jimmy and I teamed up on that one. 
All right, we're at Blue Marlin Cove. This is where we're staying. This is where we're based all week. They got a, a new restaurant here. They got Muff. Uh, he's in charge of the place. He cooks, he runs the place, he runs the bar. We brought him our food, we brought him our fish. He's gonna prepare it for us. A little local flavor. Let's see what he's got in store for us. Muff. Yes, sir. How what are we doing? Thinking? Pretty good. We, we made, uh, we got some, some wahoo and some tuna. So what we'll do, we'll just do, uh, we'll uh, serve some of the wahoo with like a little Cajun. The tuna, we could just pan it a little bit. And um, we don't have that much sesame, but we're gonna make it happen. Okay. Uh, so we keep everything kind of in-house and simple because we like to try to keep it consistent. We don't want when you get here that, oh, well, it's, it's not the same as last weekend when I was oh, when I, I was saying. when I was here. You yeah. know what I mean? It's hard to get stuff here, so we do we we'll buy a lot of our stuff from the locals. COVID and Hurricane Dorian brought all of that stuff back out again. You know, and then it, it went back to the old days where the neighbor was handing here. There's some peppers I grow. Here there's some tomatoes I grow. Now it's coming back to that. So yeah. a lot of people are growing everything. You know? Well, I'm excited for you to yeah. prepare our dinner. I'm gonna get over to the bar, wait for you. We'll bring you out. Some, we're gonna bring you out some fritters right now, and we're gonna bring you out some some um, some wahoo kibachi and um, and some surd tuna. Just streaking in, streaking in. It's the right one. I got the gap right here when you're ready. Shark shot. Screw him. There's one right behind it. Big shark, big shark. Oh. This is a black fin. Ah. Thanks, Dave. Welcome. Good catch. Here That's we go. Right. I'll just put him in there. George, you grab me another chunk. Well, the channel, <laughs> it's a great place to fish, but it can be frustrating, extremely frustrating. The sharks have gotten so bad, you know, and I don't know if it's just the amount of chumming that our people are doing, or they're just getting smarter, or there's more sharks, or whatever it is, you know, so often as soon as you hook, hook a tuna, you know, it's gonna get eaten by a shark. Or when you set up a chum slick, and you're chunking, 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 trying to get those tuna to come up, you know, the, the sharks is just down there eating every chunk that you throw in. It can be very frustrating at times. Someone's getting bit over here. Yo, you're getting smoked. You're getting smoked. Up front, Jimmy. Jimmy. Yo, they streaked through, I swear. I saw it. There he is. Black yeah. I don't know how long that was running, but. Tuna. Tuna. Little yellow, yellow fin. fin. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yep. there's tuna, there's tuna. Look, 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 watch, guys. He just came right through. Watch, 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 he just ate it. 
Watch, watch, guys. Whoop, he ate it. Watch your tip, it's wrapped. Yo, 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 yo. <clears throat> Jump, jump, jump. Tuna's at the rail. Keep that bait flowing. I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit right now. Oh, we're both on. Oh yeah. Jeez. He just pulled the hook. It's a big fish. Keep their head coming. Keep that head coming up here in good shape. As soon as that head hits the surface, they're done. I got collar down deep. Do I have a freaking shark on there? Dude, pinwheels. Uh, it's long. It's not a small one. Wow. That thing's five, 400 pounds, probably. I think. Jimmy, what is this? Oh, that's the dusty. <laughs> hey, you leave him. One day, five attack in one day. After talking with Muff, he realized that we were looking for an adventure. He said, why don't you guys rent a car and head over to one of the blue holes in the middle of the island. We were going to drive from West End to East End, and God knows what we were going to encounter in between. Bishop Beach Club, place on the side of the road, and they got a view. Yeah, we didn't bring the fishing rods. We're going to build a raft. Oh, that's windshield wiper, George. Is it? Getting to the blue hole, whoo, that was an adventure in itself. The road was not well paved, put it that way. Um, but getting there, it was so remote. And you know, you kind of start to climb this little ridge and you get over and all of a sudden you're just a hole in the middle of the island. Mr. Ma, Mr. Ma. God, this whole island is just a rock. Yeah. It's amazing things can grow through it. Ah. Like, when there's a will, there's a way. How does it penetrate the rock? Oh, cool. Oh my God. Dude, that's cool. Dude, if it's deep, we're jumping. Oh, I'm jumping. I've mm. never seen one. I Me mean, neither. I've heard about it. That's a blue hole. I mean, it is a hole. Well, it's kind of a green hole. Greenish hole. Greenish blue hole. You gonna jump? I'm admiring from afar. <laughs> Don't be scared. Oh. You gonna jump? Oh. I'll see how you guys do. Let's do it. See All if right. we live. Let's jump in, man. Really what I wanted to go over today is the products that I'm using on a daily basis from Yozuri. I'd like to start off with this Yozuri Hybrid. This is a blend. This is a blend of nylon and fluorocarbon. This comes in six to 130 pound test, top knot leader material. You know, 100% fluorocarbon leader. This is available in eight to 200 pound test. As far as braid, the Super Braid. I'm using it anywhere from 15 pound all the way up to 80 pound class. It comes in the green, it comes in the high bead yellow, um, and in the white. As far as lures, again, hard baits, whether it's something like this, the high speed vibe, this is a nice heavy, uh, heavy hard bait that I can throw. Some new stuff from them, 
is the Hydro Monster Shot. This is a heavily weighted uh, hard bait. It, it casts a country mile, sinks quickly to the bottom. The new 3D Diver, this is a new product from them. This is gonna dive down to almost 15 feet of water. One of my favorite go-tos of all times is the Hydro Pencil. One of these I'm gonna have it tied on all times on a spinning rod when I'm heading offshore or, or inshore. The Hydro Twitch Bait, this is, look at this. You know, this comes in a bunker color. We had some really good success up in Virginia throwing these for Cobia. And then there's the Mag Popper. Uh, big profile, gonna create a lot of splash, a lot of commotion. And again, this is just a small sample of what Yozuri has to offer as far as hard baits. They have something for fresh water, for salt water, whatever it is, make sure you check out that Yozuri line at a retailer near you. Spreader bar. Another one on. Green machine. I'm gonna straighten you out here, hang on. Oh, one just big fish just came out there. Let me see if I can get another bite here. That's the right one. The yellow fin. That's the right one. That's the right one. Careful, you're in the swivel. There you go. There go we go. Team. That's a go good team. start. There's a lot bigger ones in there, but that's a good start. That's what we came for right there, boys. Just gotta go from pack of birds to pack of birds. We're in the right school. We know where they're at. Targeted species acquired. Got another one. Go. They're like right there. Come that close. They're definitely not afraid. No, everything's coming on that short stuff. And the long one doesn't even get touched. No. Back there a quarter mile. I got an Islander with a J-Hook Ballyhoo. That's that's never caught any before. Okay. Straight ahead. Straight ahead, slightly left. Right in that slick where it was where we left it. Oh, whoa, 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 God, here comes the mahi. Oh, I got him on the Azuri. Ha-ha. <laughs> got him on the hydro, uh, hydro shot. Here, 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 right there, right there, bigger one. Right there, going away. Little guy, I'm gonna let him go. Yeah, Let's see if we can get a couple of them bigger ones. Got him on that hydro monster shot. This thing casts a mile. Hey, we're getting all kinds of marks down below. Really? Like How deep? 50 to 100. There he goes. There we go. Don't go too slow. Oh, oh. Benita, too. That's got to be Wahoos. Oh, left long just got eaten, too. Go, I got to go. Come go, on, go, come go, on. Go, keep go, going. Go, keep go, going. Go. Keep going. You get it. This got big, too? Yeah. Yeah. That's... That a little yellow? Or black? Missouri. 
ready, George? You need help? Need a little. Here we go. Shoo! Be a good bait. The Bahama Islands have become a place of retreat for my family and friends. Far enough away from the normal grind of life, but close enough to travel to by small boat from the eastern coast of Florida. The fishing and diving are world renowned and the Bahamian people are warm and welcoming. Each island has something unique to offer and you could spend a lifetime exploring these waters. We made lasting memories on this trip, and I look forward to a return in the not-so-distant future. Atta boy, Guys, I, I, I can't tell. Are the, we are the wheels falling off here? Yeah, but we're good. I found two fishing rods. George's first roundabout. Yeah. <laughs> All the way around. Left. Oh, we're going. Look, kids, the port. But which way do we get off, Dad? Kids, the board. That's insane. We lost the plot, the scissors, and we got them back. Special Skippy. Oh, you just locked yourself around your rigger. Nice. Hi, mom. I'm in a deep hole. What's new?